Hi, I'm Cillian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I'll show you how to paint a still flowers in oil color. Enjoy! Hello again. I've taken a week off from videos uh, due to the fact that I was under the weather and my voice was not really up to participating in my artful endeavors. So today we have here a very interesting plant. It's really a wildflower. It's called a stilb. That is Greek for A, which is without, and stilb, which is brilliance. That means without brilliance, because as we'll see, they're made up of very small individual flowers that are growing, growing in clusters pyramid-shaped clusters, and compared to the whole fern-like uh, bunch of leafy greens on the bottom, and the, the flowers themselves are, are not, don't seem so significant. At least they didn't back in the day when they made up the, the name. <laughs> Nowadays, since they mix them with other plants, hybridizing and they have gotten them to become much taller, they can grow to seven, five feet tall. So they're much more beautiful and significant than they used to be. They are a very low maintenance plant, they don't need much care, they just need a shady or partially shady area to grow in and moisture, wet soil that is well drained, no puddles please, but they definitely do not want to be in direct sunlight, that can burn them up. So here we have this whole fern-like bushy bunch on the bottom and they come out from the top of this in what people call what looks like uh, goat's beards. Their popular name is false goat's beard, since these clumps that are the structure of their flowers look like a goat's beard. I guess because they're a little bit long and fluffy. So although they don't actually grow three colors in one uh, cluster, we're just going to show some of the very beautiful colors that they come in all together in this one bunch. They can be white, they can be pink, purple, peach. They're really very uh, very bright and cheerful to add to your garden. So here's like a, a nice soft pink rose color. And we're just tapping it out with our handy fan brush. Since that, it just gives the right shape and form to all those little tiny flowers that grow out in any sort of pyramid shapes from the center stem. And this kind of flower enjoys company, enjoys uh, insect company, and enjoys other plants. Other plants that enjoy the shade, hellebores and hosta. It's great to grow it next to them. They're good companions. And they will attract butterflies bees, moths, and hummingbirds to your garden. So if you're interested in those, this would be a good way to attract them. And they are a perennial. They bloom from spring 
until autumn. So you'll have a nice color in your garden for quite a while. They may not show up so fast, but they'll come out eventually, and then they'll stay there for a while. So here's a bunch with a more bluish purple kind of tinge to it. It's a great filler for a bouquet or centerpiece, like for weddings. Think how all those little branches you just spread around the main flowers like roses or lilies that they're surrounding. And their colors pair very nicely with other flowers. And they do last nicely when cut. And they're even great as a standalone arrangement. They don't really even need anything else to make them stand out. They're beautiful on their own. And like we said, even together with other flowers. So I hope you enjoyed me painting these beautiful astilled false coats beards. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We appreciate all comments. And if, if there's any kind of flower you're interested in watching me paint, maybe I'm interested in painting it. So here I'm just adding a touch of white to the top of it. Just to give it some some lighter areas of highlights. And here you see three different colors of the stilt. Growing quite, quite unusually all on the same plant. It doesn't grow like this. They each have their own. Each bush will have its own color. But here you have all of them together. So have a great day. Hope you enjoyed watching.